Again and again we hear that supply and demand define the market. But what does this actually mean? This is Farmer Davies. He sells his apples at the market and wants to sell as many as possible at a good price. One of his customers is John. By contrast, John and the other market goers who love fresh fruit want to spend as little as possible on it. When both of these needs are met, there is a point of intersection between supply and demand, which is referred to as the equilibrium price. In practice, it often takes several phases of price adjustment after a product is launched before the equilibrium price comes close to being achieved. Let's start with phase one. Farmer Davies sells his apples for five euros per kilo, which is higher than the prices being requested by other sellers. As a result, he soon loses customers to his competitors, or the market goers choose to buy cheaper products like pears instead. Farmer Davies is therefore unable to sell his apples. <sighs> the quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded, which creates an oversupply. In order to avoid making a loss, he is now forced to lower his price. The process of price adjustment enters round two. When Farmer Davies sells his apples for one euro per kilo instead, it does not cover his costs. All of a sudden, so many customers are interested in his goods that demand quickly exceeds supply and leads to excess demand. The price is now below the equilibrium price. This pushes the apple price up and phase three begins. Now the apples cost three euros. Supply and demand balance out. Once they match, the equilibrium price has been reached. This means that Farmer Davies can earn enough selling his apples without driving away his customers by setting prices that are too high. Farmer Davies sells his entire harvest and John and the other customers are happy. Yeah.